targeting the Rankel pathway, putting the brakes on prostate cancer progression in bone. The spread of prostate cancer, PC, to bone represents a critical turning point in disease progression and occurs in 90% of lethal cases. A majority of patients with metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer develop bone metastases which may bring a significant risk of skeletal-related events. Continuous bone remodeling is essential for skeletal integrity and strength. Bone homeostasis describes the scenario when resorption and rebuilding are appropriately balanced. Osteoclasts and osteoblasts are specialized cells that exist within the bone microenvironment and display a yin and yang type of relationship, with osteoclasts breaking down bone while osteoblasts lay new matrix. In response to cytokines and hormones, osteoclast precursors mature, fuse, adhere to bone, and release resorptive enzymes that form pits in bone. Rankle expressing osteoblasts are recruited by osteoclasts to bone resorption sites where they proliferate, differentiate, and release osteoid to form new bone matrix. In the setting of bone metastasis, a vicious cycle of bone destruction and tumor growth emerges as a consequence of tumor-induced dysregulation. Because excess osteoclast activity is a key mediator of SREs in metastatic cancer, osteoclast inhibition has emerged as a major bone protective strategy. Dinosumab is a humanized antibody that blocks rankle binding to its receptor on osteoclasts. Osteoclast maturation is inhibited by the interference of rankle signaling resulting in reduced bone resorption. Preclinical models demonstrated that denosumab improved bone density and volume by reducing resorption compared to bisphosphonates. Denosumab was also found to be superior in lengthening time to SREs and suppressing bone turnover.